All right, let's do this. First of all, you want to get a .3ds file of Fire Emblem Fates. Uh, special Edition works best because that way you get to randomize all the characters. I'm not going to tell you where to get it, but it should be easy enough. Just like click online and Google. So what you want to do is right click, then dump ROM FS. This is going to take a while, around two minutes or so, to just drink some coffee or something. All right, nice, it's done. So once uh, once it's finished, you get this right here, uh, the dump folder. So you wanna memorize this. I have it pinned here into, into quick access and you should do that. So this is important for our randomization. So I'm gonna do a quick jump cut. Okay, so this is my 21st take and I'm pretty annoyed right now. So I'll just make this quick. So go get your dump path. Didn't make an output path. All right, so don't enable amiibo units because you can't lock out children. You should not enable Corin because you can get soft locked in the first chapter if you get a, like a villager Corin. But I wouldn't enable it anyways. Keep this enabled. Uh, same sl sex swaps because you can get locked out children if you disable it. Also, you should use uh, separate full corn sexuals unless you really don't care about children. But I'm going to enable it because I like inheritance. And for include all skills in the skill pool, it refers to personal skills, which are hard coded in the game to be ignored. <clears throat> so it's not really that helpful. But it also includes some DLC skills such as point blank and uh, beast shield, as well as some enemy only skills such as dragon skin, so you can get really lucky. So I'm going to enable that. So for stat randomization, I don't recommend using, uh, messing up this at all because you can really fuck up the game. So I want to set it to redistribute anyways because I like having fun. The Elise animation fix refers to this one scene in chapter 2 where Elise does a spinning animation around Corrin. You should not have this enabled because it's really funny to watch. So just select some numbers. You can't actually have letters on it, so numbers only. Then hit randomize. You can see from this prompt here, uh, you can see the progress. It takes around 30 seconds or so, so it's pretty fast. All right, nice, it's done. So you can see here, this is my output folder. You get all this stuff. So what you wanna do next is right click on Citra again, then select Fire Emblem Fates and open up mod location. Then you have to open up this folder, because I'm an idiot and forgot to do that last time. So what do you want to do next is drag and drop it. All right, nice, it's done. You know how to install mods now, congratulations. So to make sure it works, open the game up. Skip, skip. New game. You shouldn't do Branch of Fate because you can have like Corrin messed up. You can have like uh, Corrin be in a female class or in a male class, so I don't recommend that. Alright. Oopsie. Okay. All right, nice, it's work. Uh, it works. Finally, we have Elise as, Sok as Hinoka, so it's pretty funny. Oh no, I don't think I can beat this. Anyways, that's my tutorial. Like, comment, and subscribe, I guess.